Okay, here I have the MIUA PS. It is a short version of the MIUA PR. Uh, the PR usually has 9 to 11 wafers, whereas the PS only has 7 or 8. This particular one only has 7 unmastered wafers. Um, they have true gates on them, false gates, and serrations on them that you have to overcome. Um, so there's the key in action. It's a little tight. Uh, I think there's a lot of grime in this one, which makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, the wafers, they rotate around a rod on the top, so they, they kind of rotate like this. Um, and they interact with a sidebar that pushes up from the bottom. And it, it, once you get all the true gates aligned by rotating, um, then that sidebar can drop in and allow the plug to turn. Uh, <clears throat> to tension this, I'll just use this piece of music wire that I have like a little L notch cut into that fits in here real nice. But you can use a wiper insert or whatever, it doesn't need to be fancy. And um, multi pick 10 will work pretty well, but I find that the, the shaft flexes a lot, even. Uh, rotation like when you rotate it, it it just not that strong so I have this uh, honest on she pick that's been ground down because these come really thick um, you need a particularly thin shaft uh, to not overset low sets as you go towards the back actually I should probably take this back a bit further because on the long PRs this thicker area of the shaft is actually getting in the way but this is a lot stronger uh, I find so I'll go ahead and uh, for picking I'll um, have the flag raised up a little bit and go back until I hit away from it and then I'll kind of work my way under it like that. Like any lock you want to pick the ones that are wiggling and leave the ones that are I mean pick the ones that are solid and leave the wiggling ones alone. So here's the first one here on the right and it's wiggling so I'll leave it alone. Second one on the right solid. Go ahead and lift that. Got a little click. Still feels kind of solid. Or no it feels jiggling. First one still jiggling. Third one jiggling. And the last one is jiggling. Not jiggling, but they're just loose. First one on the left, solid. Little click there. It's now wiggling. So next one, wiggling. Next one, solid. Little click there. And back of the, back of the lock. All right. Uh, right side, first one. Solid, little tiniest of clicks there. Loose, second one. Second one seems solid. Hmm. Slipping off of it, got a little click there. Now loose. Third one seems loose. And the last one seems solid click there still seems kind of solid another click there and I do a lot by audio to hear if it's wiggling or, or not this one doesn't sound like it's wiggling still Let's see if it'll give me another give me another tiny click and now it's wiggling go back to the front first one here Seems solid actually. No click from it. Now sounds like it's wiggling. Second one. All right, second one I think is wiggling. Third one's wiggling. So let's check this left side out again. First one here. I don't know, it sounds solid click from it now feels like it's wiggling second one here I think that sounds like wiggling third one here solid click from it got some plug rotation off that one and now wiggling all right let's check the front again first one wiggling second one I think that's wiggling a little right side first one wiggling second one I think that's wiggling. Third one seems solid. Some of these might drop down as you pick other ones, uh, so you just gotta pick them again. It's perfectly normal. Okay, got that third one. It's now very wiggly. And the last one, sorry, that's the back of the lock. Last one still feels wiggly. 
first one, wiggly, second one, wiggly, left side. First one, wiggly, second one, I think it's wiggly, last one, that's the back of the lock. Last one here. Seems like it's very slight wiggle. Second one here. Hard to tell. I think it's wiggling. Right side. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. Alright, so everything on the right side is wiggly. First one, second one. Might be that second one, last one. Might be the second one. Second one is hard to move, so I'm gonna let off a lot of tension. This might drop out other ones, but it feels like maybe it's in a false gate that I have to get out of. So, come on. When they're in a false gate, they can bite really hard. All right, got him out of the false gate. Might have dropped something while I was at it. Let's check this right side to see if I dropped anything. First one's good, second one's wiggly, third one's wiggly, and the last one feels like it might have dropped. I gotta click out of it. Seems like it's still binding. Got another click out of it. I think it might still be binding. Got another click out of it. I think it's loose now. First one's loose. Second one's loose, third one's loose, left side, first one, little click from it, it's loose, second one on the left, loose, last one on the left, click there, got some plug rotation, go back to the beginning again, first one, loose, second one, binding, I think. Another click from the second one there. I think it's loose now. First one is loose. Second one loose. Third one loose. Right side. A lot of going back and forth in this lock. First one loose. Second one loose. Third one. Third one. Might be binding. Sure. Last, let's check the last one real quick. Last one's loose. I think it's this third one. It's binding. I'm very shaky today. All right, click from it. Definitely loose now. But still not open. Come on. First one. Second one. Third one. Oh, fourth one might be binding now. It's not making the same loose noises as before. Oh no wait, maybe it is. I think it might be. Let's check the left side before we go back to that one. First one, loose. Second one on the left. Might be loose and the last one. got to make sure it's the one that you're on and not just the shaft hitting something in front of it making noise if you're going off the sound method. First one on the right. Second one on the right. Third one on the right. Last one on the right. I feel like it might be this last one on the right. But no, it's not. Ooh. That's, I got stuck. That was just me slipping off with the with the pick. And it doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. Left side, first one. First one on the left. Definitely seems to be loose. Second one on the left.
definitely seems loose. Third one on the left. Little click from it. Man, what? Getting clicks but not getting opens. First one, second one, right side, first one, second one, third one. Yeah, this fourth one, not 100%, but it's set. Oh, yeah, it is the fourth one on the right. Got the open. Took a little bit long, um, but that's open now. And we'll take a look inside real quick with a partial gut. Lock it back up. There we go. And got this. Change our focus. Let's aim it down there. All right. Let me switch my glasses out. Bang everything while I'm at it. All right. So to gut this screwdriver, and if you wanted to see how to fully gut, it's the same as the U9. I have a video on fully gutting many different formats of the U9. So I have this format of U9 for taking this rear plate off, um, which is exactly the same. And taking that plate off, there's gonna be a, um, a spacer and a, a ring on top of it. I like to, um, take it apart and lay it out like this and then when I reassemble it I just go the opposite direction um, for this need a uh, we'll put that out the way need a gut wrench take that clip off there put it there and then this ring comes off and then this uh, actuator all right so now we're at the inside the um, sidebar has a slot in it and this little piece of this little bar metal that you see here it drops down into that slot preventing it from being removed so all you do is use the key that'll drop the sidebar and you can push it out and there's your slot right there oh come on that slot right there is what stops it from coming out hold your sidebar like this in fact you might when you're pulling out you might want to hold it like this so you're holding the sides as well if the if it has been fully gutted these um, sides can come off um, there are little um, crimps here and here here and here and if you pop this off like that those crimps become weakened and these sides pop off easy and then your your wafers will spring open they won't fall apart unless you take the back off there's rods um, but if both pop out then it could come all apart so in any case our sidebar here it's got two little fingers for the for the springs oh, come on focus like that um, but the rest of it's just solid to drop into the gates two springs and that's as far as we'll go with this gut but we'll take a look at the action here so you can see this thing is pretty grimy it's hard to pull the key in and out you can see my fingers are really getting real grimy um, I find that sometimes the wafers don't even pop back into place a lot so there we go they go in like this and you can see once you get all of them in you see how they move back and forth some of them left some of them right you have to lift from the opposite side and right now all the wafers true gates have lined up in a channel down the middle there which will allow the um the sidebar to go in there yeah so you want the key in for reassembly just do the reverse pop these springs in uh, and focus is going crazy during this process um, Put those little fingers of the sidebar into the springs like that and now with the key in you should be able to push this all the way down you see you can push the sidebar all the way in without the key i'll just pull it out a little the sidebar doesn't go in far enough put the key all the way in the sidebar can drop all the way in just put that in there lock it up you can take the key out now it won't come out then just do the reverse take it from the right Put this up. This got four little holes. There's four little posts you gotta line it up with, like that. Then you got this clip. Put it on there. You can see this this ring comes off a lot. You wanna hold it in place while you put this ring on. I use the the serrated area of the 
gutting wrench to just push that on. This is the Sparrows gutting wrench, very highly recommended. Um, you can put this on here now and it'll only drop in one way, but if you had one that has like this opening on both sides, the Miwa symbols on top, the sidebar is down. Right. Put that ring on, back plate, two screws. A lot of people, they, um, they take the core of the uh, lockout, right? That that piece, uh, and they just pick it like that because it's it's a whole core still at that point. I like to I like to put it inside the lock housing like this. Um, not that I'd ever encounter a situation where this would be installed on a door over in Japan, where I think it's illegal to pick locks, anyways. Um, but like this, it's just this is how this is how you would actually encounter it, right? Um, maybe with this at a further down depth like that but uh, I bring this all the way out so I have some places for my vice to clamp onto and that is the Miwa PS uh, all right thanks everyone bye